Hey guys, it's me, Comsor, and welcome to another FNAF Weekly News Recap. So basically, we got a ton of new mods, some game news, and some fan game news. No movie news, but like, we're not going to get a lot of news. So let's just start off with the mod stuff right off the bat, because we got so much to talk about today. So YouTube has revealed an upcoming plusy of Wither Chica. And I don't know what's up with these Wither Chica plusies, but they are always so cute, and I just want to hug them so badly. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to put an image right here. Uh... It's pretty cute looking. I like the eyes a lot. Uh, the arms. I just I feel bad for that with Chica a lot because you now how this mangled she is. But that's a very cute plushy, and I can't wait to see uh, what it looks like in person. We got some more news on the Funko Hero World line of figurines that was I think last week was like leaked or something. So we got Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and. Uh, Buddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Fo Foxy, yeah. Okay, I've, I don't know why I forgot, even though I've been talking about FNAF 1 so much on my channel. But basically, this is what they look like. I never looked at these type of figures before. Are these supposed to have big old legs? I don't know. Uh, Bonnie's probably my favorite because he, he's like he's like jamming out on guitar. Chica has a cupcake, like he's, he's, he's like raising it in the sky. So that's kind of funny. But in my opinion, these figures are kind of ugly. They're, they're very... <laughs> Not something I would buy, but they are releasing exclusively at five below. No release date, so. But we got what they look like, so there you go. Uh, not the prettiest looking figurines, I'll say that much. Also, Darko has revealed an upcoming hex sort featuring Nightmare Net, likely releasing alongside the upcoming Nightmare Marionette plus Tease Below, so. There's a new, new T-Sword. It looks super cool looking like, like, it looks like it's deep fight a little bit, but like, it gets pretty hot. Like, 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 there's old T-Swords you like find that hot, uh, hot topic. It just gives me those vibes. It's, it's such a cool design, actually. The T-Shirt goes hard, too. I think it's based off the bed. Is that the bed? I'm not sure. There's some tentacles in the background or something. But it, that is a pretty cool looking T-Shirt. It gives that metal view, uh, vibe to it with the text and everything. But that's cool. Uh, no release date, but most likely with the plushie of Nightmare Net. So keep an eye out for that, and I will cover it for you guys. Also, we got Lumen. So Lumen is basically a uh, game theory's uh, more thing, basically. They renamed it to Lumen. Uh, it used to be uh, previously Theory, theory Well, uh, that's a real name. And they plan to release a new Five Nights at Freddy's collection in late summer, early fall. So a couple of months, basically. Uh, plus with a Poppy's Playtime collection, also planned for later this year. I'm not in, I don't cover news for Poppy's Playtime, but for Nath, that's cool. So that's going to be coming up in a few months. We don't know anything about it. Just new mods is coming out. So that's awesome. There's so much more to recently coming up for Five Nights at Freddy's. Maybe it's because of the 10th anniversary or something like that. But it's such a cool thing that you guys were getting so much. Like we, we're, we're all getting so much epic stuff, you know, it's so cool. Okay, we also got some more news from uh, Hot Topic. So come on, come on, come on. It's happening again. New Five Nights at Freddy's mods from Hot Topic. So we got another t-shirt featuring the puppet. They've been going really hard with the puppet designs for the t-shirts in explaining a big lore for the t-shirts as well. We got a uh, fuzzy, funny backpack with glow in the dark eyes. So some kids can pick that up for next new school year that's upcoming. And a pizza box uh lunch bag which is pretty cool i wish i had something like that when i was a kid uh we had we did have lot lunch box lunch bags but they weren't as cool like i would personally love a five nights at freddy's one but that's cool we got a new epic backpack that's probably gonna cost like a hundred dollars because uh, backpacks from hot topic are pretty expensive but all three of these items are pretty cool i really like the t-shirt the backpack and the uh, bag it's gonna have two base with a uh, fun time freddy on the box i think maybe no yeah it's fun time freddy hit the has the cheeks on it, but that's pretty cool. More, more FNAF news. We also got some big Tales from the Pizza Plex news. So, in person look at the Tales from the Pizza Plex box set. So, it officially releases on November 12th on 2024. So, we get all of the books. We get one through eight. So, that's Lowy's Game, Haps, uh, Somni, Phobia. The Phobia Wars are really hard. Then we got another Phobia Award after that. Uh, Sub... Boy, can't, I can't pronounce that, guys. It's such a weird word. Uh, the Bobby Dots conclusion. Uh, then we got Nexi, uh, Tiger Walk, and B7 slash 2. So those are all the books that we're going to be getting in like in a complete collection. So 
if you don't want to buy each book like one at a time you can just do that and probably saves you money i hope it saves you money because it's like 80 dollars right though but that's pretty cool also we get the most epic piece of fnaf mods we ever got in this and in, in, like ever so we got uh fye uh i never went i don't i think i don't think they're in america i'm not sure i never went to one in my life and i'm kind of jealous because they got the roxy cola and i really want to get that for a collector's item I don't got like no FNAF morts and I really want that cola. I love generic cola. But uh, they have released a Five Nights at Freddy's Pesto Alloy Squeeze featuring Freddy Fazbear's pizza branding. So we get officially, we got Freddy Fazbear's special sauce. So if you guys love Freddy Fazbear's special sauce, tell me in the comments below. But this is such a weird collab. Like, like why do we need this? But whatever, like... I know people are gonna buy it. It's I don't know what that is. I think it's for pasta or something. Uh, I never use stuff like that for my pasta. I kind of just use jaw pasta sauce. But I know. I tell me if you guys actually plan on buying this, tell me what it tastes like because uh, I'm very interested in this and it's pretty weird and kind of cool at the same time. We also got another FNAF book, but it's a sticker book. So the Five Nights at Freddy's collection sticker book will be releasing on May 6, 2025. So that's a Yo, way like geez the most terrifying animatronics locations and artifacts from five nights at Freddy's are all here in its deluxe book featuring over 100 stickers with blueprints trivia and easter eggs so if you like guys like stickers buy this book i know uh if you guys bought the physical edition of security boys it actually came with some fnaf stickers so that is pretty awesome and but like we gotta wait a year for this so that's kind of lame but like oh, oh well uh, i can't wait for to see what the stickers look like i hope they're very cool looking it is a sticker book i think i have one based on the yokai watch or something like that but it was more like a gacha esque system it was very annoying but this is pretty cool i can't wait to see what it's like so that's all the fnaf news that was a like not fnaf news up uh, fnaf morts news uh we're not done with the uh, news yet but we got now fan games, so we only got one fan game teaser. You know, fan games don't really get as much announcements, so it's a very well teaser when we actually do. So I always would cover a fan game news because it's always cool. I love what what people are doing with, you know, the series. So a new teaser for Pop Goes Evergreen titled "Pick Take Your Pick." So it shows uh different colored picks. Uh, uh picks are like uh for guitars or like I think bass players use them. I'm not sure and they help with like the strings and stuff they like they pluck the strings i'm not a guitar player i play keyboard slash piano but uh he it, it has like a calton eats one of the picks so that's very interesting i don't know anything about pop so i don't know any of the characters but this is what it looks like so tell me guys if you're excited or not because uh never played pop goes before now we got some official game news we got a big announcement so PlayStation has released a short clip of the flat mode version of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2, releasing alongside Physical on June 20th. So, that is very awesome news. It's only like two seconds long, so I'm gonna be blooping it here for you guys. But basically, uh, we get like see like two seconds of like I think Helpy's one of them scene in one of the scenes. It looks pretty good. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some Easter eggs and maybe a teaser for an upcoming game with this flat top mode, because I'm pretty sure that happened last time. Uh, when uh, flat top mode came out for help wanted one so keep your eyes peeled there's probably gonna be some secret things in the game and stuff like that and now we have the biggest news of the week so we got a trailer yesterday i didn't cover it because i released a big video myself covering fnaf one like a retrospective basically i hope it does well i didn't check the stats on it yet but we officially got some more news about five nights of Freddy's into the pit we got a new trailer i'll react to it now actually Okay guys, I have the trailer right here, so let's react to it for the first time. I never watched it yet, so let's see what happens. Let's begin. Into the pepperoni. I think that was the stream I was on. Oh, uh, that, oh, that's interesting. The Scott. I think that's Jeff's Pizza. I don't know anything about the book. Some doors should never be open. So there was a ball pit. I think that brings you back in time or something. There's like hand punch all over it. Do not use kid. Travel back to well when it all began. Began. <laughs> Look at Bonnie flossing. That's so cool. People are angry about that, by the way, guys. No place is safe. One kid, one for your lives. <laughs> Agony. 
And look at that, the man himself. That is so terrifying. Do not go with him. He will kill you. <laughs> One. Hide. Survive. No, oh dang, he's fast. Look at that. Oh my god. That would be terrifying as a kid. Jesus. Five nights of Freddy's into the pit. Propel for a new nightmare. That's it. Got me. That's got me. West Pizza coming soon. More info at jeffspizza.com. Club. And that was it for the trailer. Uh, what do you call trailer? Uh, I'm going to be covering it now onto the thingamajiggy on uh, our news. So, see you guys back there. Okay, so after we acting to that trailer, we got some more information on the cover, like tips and bits and stuff like that. So the Steam page for Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit has been released, featuring new screenshots of the upcoming title. So we got like, uh, I don't, I, I never went into the pit, so I don't know what's going on. I think you go back in time or something. So we get some official kitchen news. So we actually get to see the kitchen, which is awesome because we never knew what the kitchen looked like. So it's finally awesome to see what it, it looks like. It looks like a kitchen, so. Yeah, we also get to see our bedroom. I think that's our bedroom. I'm not sure. Uh, going underneath the table, I think. Oh, no, that's Bonnie grabbing the uh, main cow tool. That's pretty scary, actually. And we got uh, Spring Bonnie uh, chasing us on the top left screenshot. Also, if you go to the Jeff's Pizza website for Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit, opens it opens up on uh, June 12th. I'm not sure if it's going to uh, release, the game's going to release on that day. I'm not sure, but... Uh, there was a QR code, I scanned it, and it just goes to the Steam page, and the Steam page doesn't tell us anything. It tells us little bits little bits of stuff, but it tells us the obvious. So there's not a lot of stuff that I need to talk about though. So that was all the news for this week. There's a lot of more news, so get out your wallets for Scott. Buy all the FNAF news, but I hope you guys like this video. Tell me in the comments below if you are interested in any products here or excited about the upcoming news about the Into the Pit. I am streaming today at five because the uh, well, uh, summer game awards is happening and i doubt there's gonna be any fnaf news but uh i think uh one house said something so i don't i don't think it's gonna be fnaf but uh there's other games i want to see and i did it for the playstation playstation thing so i might as well do it here also so if you guys like the video please like and subscribe it helps out a lot and i'll see you guys next time goodbye